What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. So Tory Lanez has been sentenced to 10 years for shooting Megan the Stallion. You guys remember he was found guilty last December for shooting Megan the Stallion in the foot in 2020 as they left a party at the home of celebrity Kyle Jenner. And a lot of people were divided about this. So I personally made a video, you guys can go back and check the date back. And I said, you know, I'm on Meg's side. <clears throat> I believed her. I knew she was telling the truth. And the gag is she wasn't even going to say anything. Like that is, you know, heartbreaking in one instance. I know she was trying to protect him. A lot of people, specifically, I know a lot of Black women, myself included, right? We're socialized as young girls, you know, told to protect Black men and all these things when nobody's looking out for us, okay? But anyway, you know, she wasn't going to say anything. And then he started to attack her character online. He just really started to come at her. So Meg was like, you know what? Bet I got you. You know what I mean? Um, and she and she she did what she needed to do. And I'm glad that she did because it set a precedent, okay? That you don't just do whatever you feel like you're gonna do and harm, shoot, abuse black women and think you're gonna get away with it. No. So Los Angeles Superior Judge. David Her Harry Ford spent the last two days listening to detailed, detailed arguments from prosecutors in the defense before handing down his sentence. Tory Lanez was found guilty back in December of three felonies related to the unregistered possession and negligent use of a semi-automatic firearm. Um, legal affairs journalist Megan Kunif has, she's been all over this, okay? By the way, she her Twitter is just keeping us informed with the fact that Iggy Azalea, okay, <laughs> T.I., you will pay, okay? <laughs> You're going to pay for your crimes. Um, Iggy Azalea, if y'all don't know her, she is the Australian chick who cosplays as, uh, she just culturally appropriates everything, the, the Nolan's accent, all those things like, girl, no, sit down, have several seats, several folding chairs. OK, you're from Australia. OK, but, um, you know, she made that song with T.I. I um, don't want no mediocre. OK, which is ironic in and of itself. But that's another <laughs> that's another issue for another day. So she writes the judge this letter, lies about it, by the way. Um, she didn't think anybody's going to find out. But the reason why I brought it up is because Megan Kunif posted it online. But basically Iggy was saying how she didn't want him to serve jail time, you know, that she was going to help him. She was going to do all these things. Like she was basically advocating for Tory Lanez after he shot Meg the Stallion in the foot. So the prosecutors, they wanted a hefty prison term. They actually, I think, wanted 20 years. And Tory, you know, and his fans, like, like he had a fan outside in this cotillion white dress with the gloves. <laughs> like this trial would be funny because it's a circus if it wasn't so serious in the fact that Megan was hurt physically and, and, and psychologically, you know, I feel like her mental health, um, you know, she took some breaks. She took some time from her career because of all of this. So I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at his fan who was outside trying to, you know, cape for him, just being a whole pick me. Like this dude is about to be deported. <laughs> He's about to serve his time. He's about to serve his time, his decade. Okay. And then he, he has to go. Um, but her gloves was killing me. I was in the cotillion <laughs> when I was 18. My grandmother who's from the South, this is just a side note. But she wanted me to be in the cotillion. It was fun, right? It was fun. I think it was put on by the Delta. Delta Sigma Theta sponsored um, me and the rest of my girls from high school. But if you guys aren't familiar with the cotillion, it's basically just um, like a coming of age party, you know, for 18 year olds. And we were all seniors in high school. But her white dress 
was very, it was giving cotillion vibes. I'm sorry, I'm stuck on it. Cause she had the long white gloves. Like she was really going to a ball. Like Cinderella, if you don't get somewhere and sat down, you can have several, <laughs> several seats and folding chairs too. Okay. So he gets 10 years and um, academics actually is, you know, like, like this trial doesn't just affect Tori. It affects, like I said, not only his cotillion wearing fans, but Iggy Azalea. Um, it's affected Megan, but it's also affected, you know, academics who he's out here screaming and going off about, you know, being sued because he was, you know, standing by Tory Lanez. I think Drake, like one to hit, you know, he liked his post in support of Tory Lanez. And people were saying that LeBron James, although LeBron, because I'm biased and he's from, you know, near and dear, close to where I was born and raised. They said that he was supporting him. I don't think that he supported Tory. I think LeBron actually wrote his letter or said something, but it was like a long time ago, like a year or two ago. I might be wrong. And if I am, so is he. I'm not, like I said, I'll, I'll never, if you know, defend an abuser because I don't play around with domestic violence. I've seen too much growing up and there's no excuse for it, none whatsoever. So I am hopeful, I'm trying to give LeBron James the benefit of the doubt because he's never been in any type of trouble. I haven't even heard of a parking ticket from LeBron James um, in over 20 years from when he started his career as an 18 year old, which is impressive. Because I've definitely had my fair share of parking tickets. <laughs> I'm not a very good driver. Um, but I will say that, you know, this situation is a lot more serious than just parking tickets. And I feel like Tory Lanez earned every single day of those 10 years. And I'll tell you why. Because, again, going back to what Megan said, that she wasn't even going to say anything. And she was shot in the foot. And she was still going to, you know what I mean, hold him down, 10 toes down, okay, with a hole in her, a bullet hole in her foot. And he has the nerve to try to attack her character. Sir, you just shot this woman. Like, are you serious right now? And I don't care if he did it out of fear. He got his hair doctor, his doctor um, coming out trying to, you know, ask for leniency because he has... I don't know. They say he looked like Cynthia from um, Rugrats. <laughs> that's what the streets, that's what the social media streets are saying. You're a man. Shave it off. It, you you know, it, you, <laughs> you're always wearing a hat anyway. Like nobody sees your hair. Nobody cares. Like nobody cares. That's the thing. I cannot, to be honest, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I cannot name one Tory Lane song. I don't listen to him. And this was before the whole incident with Megan. So um, he needs to, you know, do his time. And then he needs to go ahead and go on home, go back up to Canada. Um, you know, um, he needs to chill out, literally, because it's super cold in Canada. Every time I've gone, even in summer times, <laughs> it was really cold to me. But yeah, you know, this is obviously not a place that he needs to be because we have laws here that protect American citizens from abusive men like Tory Lanez. So he and his Cynthia haircut, he can find a doctor up there, I'm sure, but he can do something else. You know, he can sing Oh Canada or whatever it is. You know, I like Canada. Okay. I, they don't need to catch the strays. I'm just upset that the fact that Mega was going to protect this man when he wasn't trying to protect her. You know what I mean? Like everybody was coming for Meg, Kylie, you know, just all these rappers and stuff. So if she decides to go after academics because he was running his mouth too much and him, and, you know, Eric Badu, you know, who was, op listen, Eric Badu is not one to play with, but if you want to play those games, you're going to find out like the people in Alabama, but okay. Um, you know, she called him Jerry from Tom and Jerry, which she she was telling the truth. <laughs> but she also, you know, got on social social media and she's just been spraying him, pretty much calling him everything uh but a child of God. And so, you know, 
if he wants that smoke with Meg and Eric Badu, he's, you know, on his platform screaming and cursing and he's scared. I mean, but he's another one that, you know, um, he's writing the mouth. He's writing a check that his, uh, that his mouth can't cash, that his butt can't cash, to be honest. So if he wants to continuously have all this smoke for women, which is what he does, that's what that's what a lot of bullies do. And um, men who are little boys who have not matured or grown up, they have all this smoke and all these things to say to women. But when it comes to handling their business like a man, they fall short every single time. So bye-bye, Tory Lanes. I really hope that you spend that next decade in prison thinking about what you've done, uh, reflecting on the choices that you can make once you get out and go back home. And I hope that you keep your hands and firearms or you won't be. Well, I don't know Canada's laws, but just keep your hands to yourself. OK. All right. With that being said, y'all. <laughs> If you have not already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Please like it and I will talk to you later. Take care, aces. Bye.